This is example 3 on expanding brackets and simplifying. Before we have a look at example 3, I want to raise our awareness of something. I'm just going to write down two expressions. I'm going to write down 5 subtract x squared plus 3. And I'm going to write down 5 subtract x squared plus 3. Okay, hopefully you'll notice that in this second expression, the x squared plus 3 is grouped together. Let's just imagine if we give x a value. Let's let's make x equal to 1 and let's see what happens when I put x equals 1 into both of these. 5 subtract 1 squared plus 3 and over here I'm going to do 5 subtract 1 squared plus 3. Okay, well, I know that 1 squared is 1. And I'll do the same here, 5 subtract 1 plus 3. Okay, so applying the order of operations, we've got subtraction and addition, doesn't matter the order that we do because I've got the same power. So 5 take away 1 is 4 plus 3 is 7. But in this calculation, we need to evaluate the brackets first. Okay, so we're doing 5 subtract 4, which is 1. The main idea here is I want you to realise that these are different. This here is very different to this here. The bracket, the inclusion of the bracket is important. In this first expression, only the x squared is being simplified. But in the second expression, x squared plus 3 is being subtracted. Sorry, I think I said subtracted over here. It's the x squared plus 3 that is being subtracted. Okay, so it's important how we deal with situations like this and we can recognise the similarities and the differences uh, when we're working through. Okay, uh, right, so we'll have a look at example 3 now. So, we are going to simplify, let's do x plus 1, x minus 2, subtract x plus 3, 2x minus 1. Okay, so some uh, same sort of idea again. Um, what we, if we had a problem like this in the past, 2 times 3 subtract 4 times 2, we would multiply each term individually and then we would subtract them at the end. So we're going to do that to start off with. Um, no tricks here. So we're going to do x times x x squared minus 2x plus x minus 2. And notice how I've just put that in a bracket here because there's some more um, simplification required. Okay, so I've multiplied that out and I'm going to subtract and we'll multiply this one out now. plus 6x minus 3. Okay, so um, we've multiplied out both brackets. Our next step would be just to simplify both brackets individually. So this would become x squared minus x minus 2, because I've got that minus 2x plus x. And we're subtracting 2x squared plus 5x minus 3. Okay, so so far nothing has changed. Nothing at all has changed. Um, at this stage when I want to try and start simplifying, um, and I want you to remember what number is technically in front of both brackets. Technically, there's like a 1 here, and technically there's a 1 here. But importantly here, it's not a plus 1, it's a minus 1. So that's going to affect what's going to happen to this bracket. So if we were to multiply our first bracket, 1 times x squared is x squared, 1 times minus x is minus x, and then minus 2. Essentially, we've just got one law of the full bracket. But then over here, we've got minus one law of this bracket. Okay, so see if we were to multiply this out, minus 1 times 2x squared 
is minus 2x squared minus 2x squared minus 1 times plus 5x is minus 5x minus 1 times minus 3 is plus 3 okay so notice here I'm just going to zoom in on what we just did there so this was our bracket plus 5x minus 3 so if when we're subtracting that because we're subtracting the full thing that would become minus 2x squared minus 5x plus 3 notice how the signs like kind of switch over technically this is a plus 2x and it becomes minus 2x the plus 5 becomes minus 5 the minus 3 becomes plus 3 and that just happens because when that's what happens when we multiply by negative 1 okay last thing we just want to simplify here we want to collect like terms we get all of our x squared together our x's together and our numbers together there we go so we've got x squared to take away 2x squared that's minus 1x squared we don't write the one we've got minus x minus 5x is minus 6x and then we've got minus 2 plus 3 minus 2 plus 3 is plus 1 and that would be us okay so the main thing to watch out here how is this question different from the others it was entirely down it was entirely different because of the subtract okay and then that's important when we get to this stage here when we're multiplying by that negative one throughout